What's going on, everybody? Big Jer here with Warp Academy. I just joined the team here at Warp Academy, and Vesper has asked me to do a few tutorials and reviews for you guys. I'm super excited to connect with you, so if you have any questions, feel free to drop some comments down below. Today, we're going to be talking about the Captain Bundle by Mixed and Key, and I actually really like this group of plugins. I like it so much that I'm going to give you my top three reasons that I keep coming back to the Captain. All right, let's get into it. All right, guys, first, I thought we could do a quick overview. This won't be comprehensive, but by the end of the overview, we'll at least know what we can expect out of Captain plugins. Then we can go into my three standout features, the three things that keep me coming back to the Captain, the three things that I love the most. And then we could do a quick demo so I can show you guys how fast it is to actually build an idea with the Captain. So what are the Captain plugins? Well, they're a new series of plugins from Mixed and Key. These plugins are meant to work together. Currently, there's Captain Chords, Captain Melody, and Captain Deep. And there's more on the way. So Captain Chords is kind of the centerpiece. You go in, you set your key, you set your scale, and you can start building out chords. Then when you're happy with your chord progression, you can open up Captain Deep, for example, and it syncs up seamlessly with Captain Chords, providing you with a bass line or options to make a bass line. And the same thing for Captain Melody. They all connect and now you've got options based on your chords to make a melody. Let's get into some of what I think are the standout features. So in the world of music theory plugins, there's usually a lot left to be desired. But Mixed and Key has really come very close and made this an enjoyable experience. So the first thing that really stood out to me was when they implemented Captain Play into Captain Chords. And I can go right here to my computer keyboard. And this is really a great layout. So in the center, we get all our common chords. So here's our one chord, two chord. And you can see how it's labeled up there at the top. Three four, five, six, and seven all the way across. Now, what's really cool is we have options in a vertical axis. So just like I said, the one chord is here on A. Well, if I go up to Q, which is right above that on my keyboard here, then I get a seventh chord, which is really neat. If I go below it, I get a sus two chord. And if I go all the way to the top, I get extra chords or modal chords. Okay, and I actually have an option to hold shift down, and then I've got even more options. So I've got more extra or modal chords up top. I've got now my ninth chord. I got my sixth chord, my sus four, and there is a performance option in here as well. So I could just play along with the beat and it will capture my performance. Next up for me is the custom chord button. Now you can see over here in play, it's got everything that we have on the home screen laid out in a usable way. But what if you don't see the chord you're looking for? Well, what's really cool is you could type in a chord under custom and it pops right up. So for example, if I wanted to put my two chord into a Phrygian mode, well, I would need a B flat major chord. And I don't see that anywhere here in the options, but that's okay, because I can go over to my custom, I could type in B flat major, and guess what? Boom, it pops up right there. Sure, it comes up as A sharp major, but that's the inharmonic equivalent, so it's, it is the exact same thing. And this, to me, really crosses the T's and dots the I's, because even if you didn't find the chord you wanted with their many options, you could type in a custom chord and get that chord available to you. So that would be my second standout feature. Finally, for me, it's the way that they connect. So if I go ahead and open up a Captain Deep and then hit connect, it automatically connects with the way my chord progression looks. Now, if I go into my chord progression here and change it, you'll notice that as soon as I do that, it changes automatically in Captain Deep. And the same thing for Captain Melody. These guys work so seamlessly that it's actually a joy to use. I know that I have a hard enough time matching my socks in the morning, so getting all of these plugins to work so integrated really impressed me. Let's jump over to a demo so I could show you guys how easy it is to use these guys together. All 
All right, guys, so I've got a little drum loop going and a small section of the Chainsmokers Everybody Hates Me acapella. Okay, I've actually retuned this to G minor. Okay, I know that it's in a major key, but I'm doing it in a relative minor key. And we're gonna use Captain Chords to help us with our remix. Now, I haven't seen too many people do videos on this, and that's pretty much Mixed in Key's cornerstone, helping out DJs do remixes or helping them out with their sets. So, we want to do a remix of Chainsmokers, and we're going to use Captain Chords to help us. And we know now that it's in G minor. So, we're going to open up Captain Chords. Let's first of all hear what we got. Just a simple acapella and a drum loop. Very simple. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna open up Captain Chords. I've got four chords laid out for us. They're only just one chords, so we're gonna go ahead and build this chord progression right here. I just didn't wanna waste your time setting up. Our first chord we'll leave is G minor, that's cool. And our second chord here, let's go ahead and put it a five chord. Okay, and our third chord, let's go ahead and maybe do a six chord. And for our final chord, we're gonna go ahead and do a three chord. Let's hear how this sounds. Wicked, I wanna do a little bit of a passing chord here so that we're able to do that now by splitting this, okay? So now we've got two chords here and what I'm gonna do is switch this to a sus two chord. Okay, so now we got. Wicked. Now, let's use Mixed In Keys Captain Chords to make this a little more exciting. So I can go to my first chord and I can add some complexity to it. In fact, let's do that to all the chords. Now that's just gonna add extra notes that we already have. If we wanna actually extend this chord, we can go here under flavor. And I think they should just change this to extensions because flavor seems like I'm licking a lollipop or something. So let's go ahead and add a ninth because I really like that. It's as easy as that. And I'll go over here and maybe I'll add myself a seventh. Okay, I'm gonna go here and grab another ninth. And then we'll just leave these susses as they are. Now we can keep going and messing with the rhythms and all that, but I like it the way it is. So what I'm gonna do is move this out of the way so I can go ahead and drag my clip right up into my session. And it's really as easy as that. And now we've got a clip in our session. So let's get rid of Captain Chords. And we can leave the default piano sound for now so we can continue through our demo. So what I'm gonna do is grab a Captain Deep, pull it right in. I'm gonna hit connect and hear the options that it's given me. Not bad at all. We could either use their bass sound or we could add our own bass sound. Let's go ahead and check out the rhythm first. So we do have a couple of different rhythms. So let's grab maybe Addiction, see what that sounds like. And I kind of want to drop these guys down an octave. So let's go down an octave. Amazing. We can keep tweaking it, but let's go ahead and move forward. Okay, I got this guy here. Next up, I wanna go ahead and grab myself Captain Melody. And they should have probably just called this Captain Arp because Melody implies that I'm getting like some type of a melody line where really what we're getting is more of a backing melody, which is still very cool. Let's check out what we got right out the box. Now, I don't wanna go in harmony. I wanna use only the notes of the chords I provided. So let's try that. And let's pop it up in octave. Cool, man. Let's try a couple other ideas here. And I love that, right? But let's say for this particular example, I don't want to use Captain Coors for the sound. I like the idea, but I don't want to use it for the sound. So what I could do is simply drag in 
my clip so I have the clip, I could choose to keep Captain Melody, reroute it, or simply delete it off the track. Bring myself in my synth of choice. In this case, maybe it's Serum. All right, and then I could just make myself a quick pluck sound here. Grab myself a little bit of reverb, and we've got ourselves an original pluck sound. Right, guys that about wraps it up for the review i hope you learned something if there's anything else you'd like to know about this captain bundle please drop some comments down below i'll be happy to get back to you i've been big jer this is warp academy and i'll catch you guys next time see ya